is to try other nations' foods, and yet nothing could be further from the truth for the last sort of couple of generations. I think uh, the days of the Sunday roast, although they've not gone, they're certainly you know it's nowhere near as uh, frequently had as as it would have been years ago. I mean, I, certainly my dad will you know. Sunday without a Sunday roast wasn't a Sunday to him, you know what I mean? But now, it just doesn't work like that anymore. Just fill that in a little bit because I get confused as to where I'm going. Yeah, anyone who's just uh, joined, if you're interested in um, joining me on this little Minecraft server, um, just let me know. We just had Fadders just, uh. <laughs> He's got. He's, what's, what's going on, Flutter? <laughs> what actually just happened to him? Yeah, I used the 128's fax version, normally, um. Flutter. It was definitely my favourite, um. Well, they're not known as texture packs now, are they? They're now known as resource packs, apparently. And you can change them on the fly. I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that before. No, no, Flatter, because I'm not going to... I'm going to just use... Um, I'm going to go as vanilla as I can possibly make it, mate. I'm, you know, there's no FTB coming in. There's no fancy-ass texture packs going to be used. There's only two concessions I'm making. That's the fact that I'm using... Faithful32... And the only difference that makes is it makes it's exactly the same textures as vanilla, from what I understand. Apart from this stupid white dot in the middle of the screen, instead, well, white dot, white square, um, which should be a crosshair, I believe. Uh, instead of it being 16 by 16, it's 32 by 32, but the actual textures themselves are the same. They just doubled in resolution, that's all. And the only other concession I will make will be I will install Optifine when and if they manage to update it to 1.7.2 compatibility. Because I Optifine is just awesome. That you know it doesn't actually change the mechanics of the game in any way, but it. I know, Flatter, and you can't, there's, I don't think there's any way of getting it working with 1.7.2. And in fact, the, I was reading the forums yesterday. The actual developer for Optifine has said that he actually can't move it forward until something called the MCB is updated. At which point, unfortunately, I had to stop reading. I needed to go out. So I'll look into that later to find out exactly what the problem is. Not that I can help, but uh, it seems to make quite interesting reading. What did you say, mate? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it's something like that, mate. That's right, yeah. Apparently, this last patch is 1.7.2, or it might have even been the one before it changed like the whole kind of infrastructure, if you like, of how Minecraft works, didn't it? It was like a really big update. I mean, you might not see anything different, but it really changed some of the key sort of coding in the background. I mean, I certainly don't pretend to to know ins and outs of it all, but um, <laughs> Half-Life 3. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's caused no end of issues for people sort of heavily into the modding community. They've had to make all sorts of concessions to get things just up and running again, and of course they're not running like they want them to just yet. See, this is the other thing as well. This is why I need to sometimes Stop trying to make games more than they actually were ever meant to be by the devs. You know, again, I always go back to my referencing to Skyrim. You know, probably spent four times... What the hell am I doing? Spent four times the amount of time modding it than I have ever playing it. And I've still never finished the game. To this day, I've still not seen Skyrim all the way through. In fact, far from all the way through. And what happens is I then take a break from the game and, you know, before you know it, there's a whole host of other new mod packs come out and you end up with a broken game that's not compatible with previous saves or all the rest of it. It's a little bit like that with Minecraft servers, you know. 
I'd like to be able to keep this particular server up to date with the vanilla version of the game. The other thing I think it opens up, I know quite a few people who wanted to join us the last time we uh, set a server up in this who were watching on Twitch chat, who actually couldn't join us because their actual hardware just wasn't good enough to run FTV. I mean, it is actually quite a demanding game. Even, to be honest, so is Minecraft to some degree, which is why Optifine is so useful. I think people just think anything can run Minecraft, and it's not the case at all. It's a bit of a weird game. It's that Java lava, that's the problem. Oh no, I just used the last of my... oh crud. Oh my god, I screwed up. What did you do, dude? Flanner, what's a quick way of bringing up chat without having to press bloody... It's not tab, is it? It's not tilled. What's a quick way of bringing up chat without pressing forward slash, mate? What's that, Pentium? How many grum bombs you got? 130. You haven't got enough grum bombs. How about that IP? Lol, J. Is it a crack server? It's all I got. <laughs> You're more than welcome to join us, Pentium, but you do need to get the grum bombs, mate. That's the problem, dude. Oh! Ah, oh, I don't believe I just put that there. It's only 300, mate. You have that in no time. Just leave the stream running, dude. What do you mean by is it a cracked server? What does that mean, mate? Not sure what you mean. I can answer it once I know, though. Uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, iron, wasn't it? Oh, damn. I need to go all the bloody way back up. Unless... Have I got coal? Yes, I've got cobblestone. I'll tell you what I could do. I could make an oven here, couldn't I? There you go, that's not a bad idea actually. Um, that is not a bad idea at all. Sticking some coal, sticking some... Tell me I've got iron. Yes. Right, let's just wait a sec. I'll drink my coffee while we wait. Uh, you have cracked... Oh, well, I don't want to know about that, Pentium. That's terrible, dude. You should go and buy it instead of stealing it. Hello, Gathorian. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, while we wait, just a quick one. So, for anyone who's interested in joining us on the server, um, oh, press T to view entire chat. So, you press T, so you can press T and then escape or T and enter. Oh, that's wicked flatter. Thanks for that, mate. Yeah, I'm very well, thanks, Cthulhu. Yeah, um, just decided to enter back into the wonderful world of Minecraft for a few sessions this week. Um, anyone who's interested in joining us on the server, just save up some grum bombs. You'll need 300 grum bombs to join us. That price will go up. I say price; it's not like it's costing you anything. You get you get grum bombs just for watching the channel, but. Uh, Obviously, at some point, it starts getting expensive for me to actually run the server. So, uh, at that point, the Grumbomb price will go up. Just otherwise, everyone will be wanting to jump on. It's not stealing if it's still there. <laughs> I've heard that argument a few times, uh, Pentium. It's not stealing if the product is still there. Yeah, I'm sure the old uh, copyright lawyers and a brand new 40 inch TV. Only <laughs> I like it, Flatter. <laughs> yeah, grum bombs are free. They don't cost you anything. After all that, I've just realised you bloody donkey didn't actually make an iron pickaxe, did I? What a numpter! Come on, 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 come on. Just, I think sprinting um, 
reduces your hunger level quite significantly, doesn't it? Although, having said that, it doesn't seem to be right now. Mm. Strange. Actually, let's take that coal out and put it back in there. Uh, where's my sticks? I'm going in there. There we go. No, oh, get me back. I'm so bad at closing my inventory and losing stuff. Uh, should I have a nibble of bread? Yeah, what's the server like at your end? Is it alright, Flatter? Yeah? Obviously, if there's any problems, let me know, mate. I'll, uh, I mean, everything looks good my end. I mean, I'm not hosting it personally. You're having apple pie? Oh, photo. I'm not a fan of apple pie, mate. Never liked the stuff. In fact, you know what? I love a raw apple. You know, give me a nice crunchy Granny Smith. Awesome. But anything that's got cooked apples in it, <laughs> never. Just don't like the taste at all. I don't even really like apple juice, and yet I, you know I love a, a genuine raw apple. Yatta, where's Yatta? Someone, Gathorian? You said hello, Yatta. Where is Yatta? Is my twi is my bloody Twitch chat breaking? I didn't see. I can't see chat or in chat. Well, I've certainly not seen him say anything anyway. If you can hear me, Flander, is everything all right on your end with the server? Then is it all nice and steady, mate? Hello, Yatter. How you doing, mate? You are there, sir. You are there. Oh, good. Oh, nice one, Flatter. Thanks for the uh, feedback, mate. No, as long as it's alright, it don't matter. That's good to know. Oh, shit. I'm using my iron bloody pickaxe for the stain. Right. Come on, then. Oh, you just joined, have you, mate? What have you been up to today, Yatta? <laughs> I think uh, Flat has just destroyed my uh, sheep population. I was saving them. <laughs> right. Let me have a look. Yeah, doing well, thanks, yeah. Very well indeed, mate. Um, quite a good day today, so... Looking forward to finishing up. Well, I say finishing up, we know we're near the end, but carrying on with Tomb Raider later tonight. That would be nice to uh, put a bit more time in on that. I feel like I've not given the game a, a good crack, to be honest, because uh, I've sort of played it intermittently, so... As you'll probably notice from this week's schedule, I've mixed it up a little bit, just try and get some of those games that um, I'm enjoying actually giving them a bit of bit of stream time to be honest. Still need to make a decision about whether or not to get what's it called Starbound. I really enjoyed sort of what I played of Terraria so don't think you could go wrong with that. Oh Flood is having his little kids having his first bath. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fantastic game, yeah. Really, really just everything about it. Production values, the storyline, the environments. Really, really good. You got to kudos to Crystal Dynamics, man. They pulled it off. <laughs> oh dear, Flatter, that, that epic uh, family moment was uh, cut short then, was it? Your little ones decided to have a bit of a poop prior to his bath. <laughs> K 
kind of Minecraft-ish. Oh, you mean with the uh, Terraria?